Hello, check, check. Check, 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 check. Sir. Sir. How are you? Check, check. Headphone. Check, check, check. What's the order? What's the order? Vaska? Vaska? Hello, check, check. Check, 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 check. Okay, okay. Check. Hello. 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 Check. Test. Test. Check. Hello. 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 Ah. No, no. Hello. Check. Test. Test. Hello. No, no. 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 No, no.
We have our distinguished guests of honor, Professor Dr. J. V. Akhmi, sir, who was Associate Director of Physics Group at BARC. And he was also the ex-chairman of Atomic Energy Education Society at DAE. We also have with us President Dr. S. H. Pawar, sir, Emeritus Professor and former Vice Chancellor. We have convener Dr. C. V. Murumkar, sir, the principal of Tulsaram Chaturchand College, Baramati. Also, we have with us Dr. Yogesh Indulkar, Chairman, Science Forum, Dr. P. C. Pingle, Head of Department, Department of Physics, and Dr. V. S. Mohite, sir, Coordinator. With that, I extend a very warm welcome to all the dignitaries, the professors, and all the students who are present for this event. Today we are celebrating National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated in India on 28th of February each year to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman on 28th of February 1928. For his discovery, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1913. Raman effect is a change in the wavelength of light that occurs when a light beam is deflected by molecules. When a beam of light like this traverses a dust-free and transparent sample of a chemical compound, small fraction of it emerges in different direction rather than that of the incident light. That is why, because of this distinguished achievement of Sir C. V. Raman, we are celebrating the National Science Day today. And let me also tell you, National Science Day is celebrated as one of the main science festivals in India every year to widely spread a message about the significance of scientific applications in the daily lives of people, to display the activities, efforts and achievements in the field of science for welfare of human beings, to discuss all the issues and implement new technologies for the development of science, to give an opportunity to the scientific-minded citizens in the country and also to encourage the people as well as popularize science and technology. The National Science Day celebration is being organized in the order of Sir C. V. Raman's exceptional contribution to research and discovery by providing hope and inspiration to future generations to pursue their dreams. A total of 904 people have received the Nobel Prize since its inception in 1901. But there are only nine Indians amongst those honorees. Thus, not to stop with just few discoveries, but to continue chasing the nation's credits in every way, the DST has taken an initiative to celebrate National Science Day every year. Tulsaram Chaturchan College is always at the forefront in conducting such activities. After a long pandemic situation due to COVID-19 crisis, the college has now geared up the activities of National Science Day Celebrations 2022 in a big way with the lead of its Center for Innovative and Applied Research, that is CIAR, involving College Science Forum and Physics Research Center with a focus on the theme of NSD 2022. This theme is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for a Sustainable Development. Yes, we admit that science and technology have led human civilization to achieve perfection in living. However, we must utilize everything in wise perspectives and to limited extents. 
That is the essence of sustainable development. Sustainable development is the peace policy for the future. It is the only path that allows all of the humanity to share a decent life on this planet. On this note, I request Honorable Principal of Tulsaram Chaturchan College, Dr. Chandrasekhar Murumkar sir, to present the welcome and introductory speech. Good morning to all. Please take your seats at the earliest. I'm very much happy that this year 2022 has initiated with a large fervor and enthusiasm. Almost last one and a half year, we all were sitting at home and trying to study online. Now this is the first event and the first activity in this institution this year where we are facing each other one by one. Good morning. First of all, my greetings on the occasion of Indian Science Day. We are celebrating this day in commemoration of late Honorable Dr. Siviraman, who was the first Indian who has brought the Nobel. Obviously, a lot of activity has taken place after that. And we may not be in the forefront, but definitely we are leading in the different disciplines of science all over the world. I am very much happy that in today's inaugural function, we are having an eminent scientist with us who is down to earth and who enjoys his laboratory, he enjoys reading, but moreover, he enjoys having a dialogue and an interaction with the students. Because of his power and his enthusiasm, he was presiding over almost more than 30 schools all over India which the BARC has concepted. I'm very much happy and uh, on behalf of the Anikant Education Society and Tulsaram Chaturjan College as well as on behalf of the Science Forum, I welcome Honorable Dr. Zevi Yakhmi sir on this occasion. So we will welcome him with a great applause. Always a scientist is one who is never seen in public and which is also only read through the newspapers. But here is the one who is sitting in front of us and he was a key person for the Pokhran atomic event under the leadership of Vaspei. So when we start talking you will realize how much energetic he is as the Pokhran was. I take an opportunity to welcome Honorable Director of the CR, Dr. Shivaji Pavasa, Ex-Vice Chancellor, D.Y. Patil Medical University, my colleague and best friend, Dr. Yogesh Indulka, who is the Chairman of Science Forum, my distinguished fellow colleagues and dear students. It's my pleasure that we are celebrating the Science Day in a different mode. Each and every one is enthusiastic and each and every one is supposed to interact with not only their subjects of liking but also what others are doing. I had a meeting with my colleagues few days back and I told them 
that science is not restricted to only the science stream. Almost everything what we do, everything what we see, everything what we hear, there is a scientific temperament and base. And obviously we have to interconnect it together. What science is, nothing but what we observe, what we see, what we recognize, has to be interconnected, has to be interlooped, had to be interpreted, and ultimately has to be come out with a conclusion. So ultimately science is nothing but an originality which we are having in our mind. The day I was talking with him, and he said that science is so close to each and every one, that only, not only science students, but almost all the students who are having some affinity and attraction toward any art is a person of science. Ultimately, what we come together for? We come together for the betterment of oneself and at the same time, betterment of the society and nation as well. Dear friends, in 21st century, we are leading ahead in different fronts. And one of the most leading front, yes, obviously, is the IT sector, computer sector. But along with that, we are also going ahead in chemical engineering, engineering, marbles, and yes, there's one major gift which has the India has given to the world in 20th century, and that is the organic green world. Yes, the impetus which has come from India, it is having a strong, firm roots, almost more than 2,000 years. Yes, in our Vedic system, in our culture, we had that interaction with the nature and working together with the nature, we had progressed. Now the days have come back and I suppose you must be seeing the newspapers, you may be seeing the TV and media facing the turmoil everywhere. It may be at the economic front, it may be at the social front and so it may be at the national fronts. So ultimately, what the 21st century expects from us. We can ask a question, what our students are expected from us in coming 30 years? Which type of earth they are expecting from us? And that answer is on our shoulders as a burden. We have to work it out. We have to identify our potentiality. We have to see that how best we can come out and not only come out, how we can give the best not only of us but the nature and we should keep it as a treasure for coming generations. And yes, definitely for that, I am very much happy that Department of Physics, Honorable my friend, Dr. Pingale sir, has taken a lead and he has invited Dr. Yakmi today to interact with you people on tingling your innovative ideas, motivations, and definitely the courage to stand of your own ideas. I'm very much sure that YACME will open up new gates of your mind, imagination, courage, and definitely intellect. So I take an opportunity again to welcome YACME sir on this occasion as he's on the dais. I'm also honored to welcome his beloved wife. She's with us and definitely she will also be participating in this activity. So, not last but least, let's not only celebrate the Science Day, but let us live the Science Day. Because this is the way we are supposed to culture ourselves, modify ourselves, alter ourselves. Because the next generations, definitely they are supposed to follow us. The problems which we are seeing, they can only overcome by our attitude, approach and definitely the move we are going ahead. Wish all the best and I hope that for the whole day, you each and everyone will be enjoying, but never forget, there is a small corner in this college who is waiting for you. And that corner is nothing but the library. The books which are present, they are eagerly waiting for you. So when you get a time, today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, any time, do go to library because those are the ones, because those are the milestones we have achieved in our past and they are willing to get open day by day. So, at the last, I again take an opportunity to welcome the Honorable Dias and my colleagues of the Dias and dear friends. Wish you all the best. Have a great time. Thank you. Thank you for your address, sir. We acknowledge your commitment and vision for the college. 
Now we will proceed with the felicitation of our guest of honor. I request our principal, Dr. Chandrasekhar Murumka sir, to felicitate the president, Professor S. H. Pawar sir. I request our principal to felicitate our guest of honor, Professor Dr. J. V. Yakni sir. Now I request our principal to felicitate the president, Professor Dr. S. H. Pawar sir. I request the principal to felicitate Yakmi ma'am. Now I request Head of Department, Department of Physics, Dr. Pingle sir, to felicitate the convener, Dr. C. V. Murumkar sir. Now I request Dr. Indulkar sir to felicitate Dr. Pingle sir. Thank you dignitaries. Now it's time for the inauguration of the brochure. I request all the dignitaries to kindly inaugurate the brochure of the Campaign on Awareness in Research and Technology Development with Excellence. Department, Department of Physics to introduce our today's guest of honor. Uh, honorable Dais and all of you, once again I will welcome for this function and I will introduce this uh, today's chief guest. Professor J. V. Acme uh, from 1946 has spent a research career 
of 45 years at Bhava Atomic Research Center. At the time of his retirement in 2010, he was Associate Director of Physics Group, BARC, Head of the Technical Physics and Prototype Engineering Division, Advisor to the Chairman, AEC, Chairman of the Basic Sciences Committees of BRNS, DAE, and Program Director, Spectroscopy, Synchrotron and Functional Materials, BRC. Later, during this 2012 to 2016, he served as DAE Rajaraman Fellow at the Homi Baba National Institute, a deemed university of DAE at Mumbai. Simultaneously, during this 2012 to 2015, he worked as a chairman, Atomic Energy Education Society, Mumbai, which runs 31 schools and junior colleges across the India. From 1975, he completed his PhD in condensed matter physics from Mumbai University. His focus of research has been on the topics related to the magnetism, superconductivity, molecular electronics, biosensors, and soft matter. He has published 450 research articles, reviews in international journals, books, and has written, edited 10 books and has a Google Scholar H index of 51. He published Superconducting Material and Their Applications, a single author book written by him has been published by Institute of Physics Publishing IOP Science UK in February 2021. The another book is Biomedical Nanotechnology and Introduction written by Uma Maheshwari Christian and J.V. Acme is under publication by Jenny Stanford Publication, Singapore and will be appear soon in 2022. Dr. Acme has a U.S. and European patent on artificial heart and he has been listed among the world's top 2% most cited scientists by Stanford University in 2022. And again in 2021, he has delivered 425 invited lectures of which 150 were delivered in reputed international labs abroad and 48 international conferences. He is a fellow of National Academy of Science and elected member of Asia Public Academy of Materials. He is a winner of the <coughs> Trinial MRS ICSC Superconductivity and Material Science Award Senior by Material Research Society of India, Distinguished Alumni Award by Kurukshetra University and the IIS Gold Medal by University of Tokyo. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Definitely, sir has had an industrious career with distinguished work in numerous fields and programs. We are indeed privileged to have such a dynamic personality with us. Real scientist is not the one who gives the right answers, but he's the one who asks the right questions. Science is not about asking why, it's about asking why not. With that being said, it is my esteemed pleasure to invite our guest of honor on the stage to deliver the inaugural speech.
गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार ऑल द डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड टीचर्स एंड प्रिंसिपल एंड माय फ्रेंड प्रोफेसर पवार फर्स्ट आई वांट टू से टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द स्टाफ ऑफ टीसी कॉलेज दैट यू आर लकी एंड फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव अ प्रिंसिपल मुरुमकर सर हु inspires you know everybody around him it is difficult to be with him for about 5 minutes and not get inspired so this is a kind of atmosphere and i and my wife we have been praising the overall get up of the institution and the overall surrounding the environment and the enthusiasm of students when they are walking on the road i can see they have come here with a purpose all the students who are who are there inside the auditorium or outside those who are going to their labs to the classes to their classrooms there is an ambiance to the institution so shall we give one big hand to tc college <laughs> so principal murumkar thank you so much for uh, letting me be a part of this celebration of today and professor pawar and dr pc uh, pingle head physics department and dr indulkar who runs the science forum as i understand it is a pleasure for me to be here today so for the next almost 45 minutes you may hear me talking about science i have titled my lecture science for thrills science for skills you need thrills if to do something unless you are thrilled you don't do it well and you need skills for everything in life including for your job so let's get going with it uh, okay thank you so much uh, you have the pointer 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 put it सो सायन्स फॉर थ्रिल्स सायन्स फॉर स्किल्स अलॉंग विथ इट आफ्टर आय फिनिश माय फॉर्मल टॉक i will ask all of you to participate it is a participatory poem about our country about our nation about our progress and about our future so i'll i'll see to it that all of you will participate in it so that poem is called tum dekhoge hum dekhenge dekhegi duniya sari so that is the title of that poem that is for for to 6 to 8 minutes but that is after my talk so don't go away if you enjoy a poem and all that let me say about 90% of all scientists who ever lived on earth are living today that much is the strength of scientific effort which is being put into asking questions and answering questions science is all of all the whole of science is you ask a question you try to attempt to give the answer to that question so many of them are busy for the betterment of the society international society it, science has no boundaries if somebody does it in poland you also benefit from it and vice versa so look here why are we here today because c v raman sir c v raman he discovered raman effect today 28th february in 1928 so we celebrate that and many of the students may not be knowing you can still see his original equipment where he discovered an indian association for cultivation of science in calcutta that instrument is kept there in one room as an exhibit it's a wooden box inside some simple optical you know details but he could do that because he was original and he got the nobel prize now you see there are three sketches 
may be my friends in the uh, rear rows cannot see it so well. You see here, in the middle you have CV Raman, on the right you have BMS Black Hat Enable or Red, and on the left you have a painter, Makbul Fida Hussain, Hussain, very famous painter who died. And all the three sketches were done by Bhava himself. Bhava was a painter. Bhava was so many things. He was a artist, he was a scientist, he was a planner, he was a scholar, he was an engineer. He planned the whole of atomic energy department. He planned the whole of department of space, which you read so much about it today. So, this is called when single person has capabilities in so many different diverse fields, it is called a polymath. So, Bhava was a polymath. Of course, the biggest polymath ever born in, on earth was Leonardo da Vinci. He was the biggest polymath 500 years ago. Look at that. So, Bhava made those sketches and C. V. Raman, when he was introducing Bhava, but those were Bhava's working at Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. So Raman introduced him to Indian Academy of Sciences when Bhava at the age of 32 was elected fellow. And what he said is, here is a Leonardo da Vinci. That is the biggest comment which Raman could give to Bhava. Bhava was young. So look at the gardens of BARC on the left and TFR on the right. Some of you who get a chance to visit these places, you will see all was planned on the drawing board by Baba himself, his own sketches. So what is science? As the principal was saying, it is trying to answer a question. That's how we learn. So somebody asks you a question and scientists, you know, they will go to the lab and they start taking some measurements, they have some data, they plot, plot. In the process what happens, you are trying to answer a question. So to answer a question, we make observations, careful observations lead to patterns. Pattern means, you may say my data is exponential, which is a pattern. It is linear, it is a pattern. Okay. So these patterns lead to further questions sometimes. So that, that is also a problem. You started off, you started off with one question, you have to ask 4 or 5 more questions. But that is life, that is science. A good question, if you solve, it can lead to new discoveries. Sometimes, not always, very rarely. Discoveries lead to patents, innovations, prototypes, useful commercial products, new technology for health and medicine, environment, energy sources, entrepreneurships, and jobs. After all, most of you come here to do your degrees because your parents expect you to get good jobs. That, that's, all, that's the whole thing about it. So science education has been evolving all the time. What happens? Once upon a time, you know when we have the Gurukul system, we were all at that time, you know, you have self-study. Self-study means everybody was Gurukul make guru the, us sabko bolte jaake padke aao, khud padne ka. And then about 300 years ago, you had the formal teaching in classrooms as we have now, all over the world. But last two years we saw again back to your own self-study online learning at home, no schools, no classes, no nothing, because of Corona. Sometimes one single discovery or innovation can influence your life in so many ways, so many different aspects. Why? How? I give you an example. In 1440, Gutenberg in Germany first made the world's first printing press. Uske pehle everything was handwritten. So there were no formal books and all that. So he made the printing press. Immediately you know, there was a revolution. There were books and only no log kis topic pe padte the jada. 
either they were fond of science ओके चल ठीक या तो वो पढ़ते थे साइंस में और अबाउट गॉड थियोलॉजी और अबाउट आर्ट दीज आर ओनली सब्जेक्ट दो डे आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ 600 इयर्स अगो नाउ दैट व्हेन वे दे वर डूइंग मेनी ऑफ देम डिस्कवर्ड व्हाइल रीडिंग बुक्स दे कैन रीड बिकॉज़ दे आर फार साइटेड आई टेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो दे हैड दे नीडेड स्पेक्टिकल्स देयर आर नो स्पेक्टिकल्स so they had to develop what is called the optics they had to develop spectacles dusra industry aa gaya after that lenses aa gaye then came a microscope and who made the microscope first robert hooks you know in physics we or uh, engineering we say hooks law stress is proportional to strain that is hooks law so that hook robert hook in england he made the first ever microscope and now he wanted to test microscope mein kaise dikhta hai he had no samples because he just made this he he had a cork piece with him on his table he took a knife cut the first fresh surface put it under the microscope what he saw gave rise to another field in biology cell biology because under his microscope he was watching he found lot of cells cells means kothadi camera rooms huh? so and that's why you know in andaman jail is called cellular jail because you have so many rooms there so cell biology came then microscope to telescope was just a step away so somebody made a telescope now astronomy field thr- started thriving then people started using polishing the mirrors they learned how to polish the mirrors that polishing of mirrors gave rise to lasers lasers means light reflecting from polished mirrors back and forth so lasers came and now in the modern day you have laser printer you have barcode readers you have laser surgery you have laser fighting laser lighting and the original discovery of printing press has got nothing to do with lasers so when such things happen this is called a hummingbird effect read it in google you will know what is a hummingbird effect so every age has been expecting from us scientists what we are doing for them unko kya milta hai hamare kaam se you are busy in your lab but what are you doing for the society so look here the best developing period for science and for innovations was the industrial revolution 1800 to 1900 roughly and how many things were made those days which touch your lives railway train uh, there was a steam engine already but there was no train and even india was not behind we got our first train in 1853 and then automobile tractor typewriter refrigerator vaccination aspirin antiseptic fountain pen everybody was writing only with a column before that and so on electric lamp welding machine gun x rays so this was a very productive century but scientists continue to work in the next 50 years you had aeroplanes quantum theory dna genetics transistor computers talkies laser superconductivity fission and the list goes on last 30 years or so what has been done by scientists see we are today sitting here to celebrate science as principal said let us live science let us celebrate science so how do you do that by appreciating at least how much effort goes into it and the originality of thinking which gave you gave rise to all this today you have a smartphone you carry it many times you don't even know what is the uh, uh, system of application involved in that you have gps i'm sure majority of the audience sitting here really does not know how gps works you only use it so smartphone 5g technology 3d printing artificial intelligence internet of things quantum computing uh, machine learning all this uh, you know you hear these days it is current it is now what is happening and then in education i am sitting in an educational institute you have moocs they help you to learn and there are powerful indian indians who are doing that also not only non indians indians also online education you had it last two years 
Amazon, Facebook, WhatsApp, so on. But now, all my young friends sitting behind, when they finish their degrees, they say, where are the jobs? Our degree is done, now the job is done. Why? Because till now, most colleges in India, I am talking engineering colleges, they were preparing the students to offshore. They were sending them to the plane or ship to America. They got a job there. We were working indirectly for American companies, manufacturing our building blocks, donating to them. This was what was happening till now. Now what happened? There is a crunch on it. There is artificial intelligence. They don't need so many people. Colleges after colleges are closing in India. Engineering college I am talking of. Who are computer science college, IT college. No longer they are the favorites. So how to do it? You have to skill yourself. You have to skill yourself in new ideas, new innovations, so that you become indispensable for companies. They have to hire you because you have the capability. That is called skill. So entrepreneurship will come. So sometimes students ask us, "Mai kya karu? Bolo, you know, what do I do so that my job is secure and my career is secure and I am, you know, doing well after ten years from now." First thing is be proud of your heritage. If you are not proud of your heritage, I think you will not be a good, successful person eventually. Number two, students must develop curiosity all the time. Keep asking yourself, your friends, your teachers questions. You are curious. Don't get on their nerves. I don't mean you chase a professor and keep asking. But this answering a curio, answering your curiosity is mutual. You have to discuss with them. And creativity, passion, use internet for learning. Ah, you, you use smart, smartphones and internet, but not all the time for learning. It's all for entertainment mostly. And then a deep knowledge of STEM will always pay. STEM means science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Those who do this will always be leaders if you are thinking forward, if you are updated, not living what was done for 50 years ago. What is current now, you must know that. So let us be proud, I said, of our heritage. One thing which is typically Indian was we were the first, we made the first ever university in the world, Nalanda, long, long time ago. It is given there which year it was made. You know, look at that. For the next 700 years, that was the only university in, in the world. In Hindi, two lines say, the whole world is one side, the whole world is one side. So, India was on one side, look at one side. The whole world is in front of it. India is still winning for 700 years. Should you not be proud of it? You should be. But that was destroyed. You only have this co Marathi me Bhagdam Vashesh of that. So this was Nalanda in Bihar. Now what is the oldest university existing working? It is in Bologna, Italy, somewhere. Well, uh, this this is Bologna. I and my wife have been going to Bologna several times, so we know the place. It's, it's, this is a scientifically enlightening place even now. So we have that, but that is theirs. How to be proud of our own still. Most girls sitting here do not know that we have the largest women's residential university in the world, even now, today. That is at, in Tok district, it is called Banastali University. Most of you don't know because you have nothing to do with it. Why? Because you don't have the national spirit in you. You must know that Banastali is going to complete 100 years soon. It is still the largest residential university. And what do you teach You have all science and art subjects and other things. You have gliding. You have horse, race, horse riding for women. It's only women's university. And you have NCC for women. I have gone there and seen. It's something to get excited and inspired about. So this is Banastali. 
पर इससे भी ज्यादा मैं इंस्पायर किससे हूं होता हूं गो टू जयपुर जंतर मंतर यू नो जयपुर वॉज ओरिजिनली स्टार्टेड दिटी इट सेल्फ वॉज एस्टेब्लिश बाई महाराजा जय सिंह सो इट इज कॉल्ड पिंक सिटी जयपुर इट वॉज अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स गो वन ईयर आफ्टर ही स्टार्टेड पॉपुलेटिंग दि सिटी ही ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड बिल्डिंग जंतर मंतर जंतर मंत्र ही वॉज एडवाइज बाई लॉट ऑफ एस्ट्रो साइंटिस्ट ऑफ दो एस्ट्रोनॉमर्स एस्ट्रो फिजिस्ट एंड वॉट एवर जो भी होते थे तो उन्होंने इसको बनाया दिस जंतर मंत्र आना टाके दिल्ली वाला जंतर मंत्र वो तो नारेबाजी के लिए है सो आई एम टॉकिंग जयपुर सो दैट इज वन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड टॉप दिस वन But I tell you an interesting thing. I go to France very often. I have a lot of French scientists as my good friends. What happened in 2006? Mine is like a story, It, just so that they enjoy what I'm saying all that. In September 2006, French army they installed a sundial on the sands of an island. The island is called Mont Saint Michel in French, in English Mount Saint Michael. Okay. This is a small island on the west coast of France. It is the second most visited monument in France after Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Everybody goes to Eiffel Tower, but the learned people go to Mont Saint Michel also. आप वहाँ जा सकते हैं, पर अगर high tide आ गया तो वहाँ से बाहर नहीं जा सकते हैं, because the high tide surrounds this island. So that is my I and my wife once went there. We walked three, four, five hours. We are told come back before 4 p.m. or whatever. Because high tide will come, then the buses cannot go out. But what is great about it? Now the French army did what? French army made Roman numerals in the water. Chale hmm. chale. You can see on the left there is a cathedral on that island. You go up up staircase. and then finally there are 150 feet post like a lamp post hota hai usko spire bolte hain so that shadow falls on those numerals in the sea and roman numerals tell you 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 o'clock right now if you can see the time is about 2 pm there when the photograph was taken so they were thrilled french army and french scientists everybody saying now we have beaten jantar mantra jaipur first time so we are the largest sundial in the world i was not so happy because they are trying to say something about my country now you see next this is my guest a french lady who is a electrical engineering professor and she has a big lab in bordeaux laboratoire de integration de du matériel systems means system engineering and materials combined that lab makes sensors and biosensors and useful devices she is in charge of that so we were going from delhi from jaipur to bikaner for a conference i said come first we go to jantar mantra so i took her to each and every system provided in jantar mantra what is done i i grilled into my french friends and also others that jantar mantra is not just a sundial It is 19 architectural, astronomical instruments to make measurements of. It gives you time at four world places. Those days, 300 years ago, it was built. Hmm? Sunrise, sunset, sun diameter, pole star, and so many things. So now I tell them, you are still 300 years behind us, except one thing. Only in this, we have the 18th century. We are ahead. Harappan culture. I'll give you one sample only here. Look here. The Harappa civilization, Mohenjo-daro is included in that. It may be in Pakistan, but Pakistan to bacha hai na. It was part of us only till recently. Civilization was together. We have part of civilization Gujarat at Dola Vira, and recently discovered Rakhi Gadi near Hisar in Haryana. That is the largest campus. And if ever you read in net internet, Ferguson College Pune is doing the maximum excavation there. They are the leaders. and finding new things what they discover not ferguson college others they discovered in harappan culture the oldest piece of a wax clay casting technology which is still used by nasa 6000 years ago somebody made this 
एमुलेट एमुलेट मीन तावीज जो गले में लटकाते हैं लोग सो इमेजिन द टेक्नोलॉजी विच वॉज एग्जिस्टिंग इन हड़प्पा दो डेज सो शुड बी नॉट बी प्राउड ऑफ इट एंड लेट एस बी प्राउड ऑफ करेंट थिंग्स ऑल्सो I told you about Harappa, Aryabhat, J.C. Bose, C.V. Raman, Raman Ajum, Baba, Argavand, Khorana, Chandrasekhar. Don't ever forget S.N. Bose. I put it in red. Today, for 1,000 years, if these people don't remember, then S.N. Bose will remain. Although he is not a Nobel laureate. Because of Bose and Stein statistics, which, which actually controls all the astro astronomy things which you are seeing around. String theory, this, that, whatever people are doing. So he will be alive. Chandrayaan mission, we have nuclear power reactor, green revolution, white revolution, software leadership, generic medicines. Half of Africa will be dead if India doesn't make cheap generic medicines. We make, and you make already, you know, Pune mein oh, vaccine banate hai, Serum Research Institute, and defense equipment. And let me give you an example. Typically Indian, this man, Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan, he is in UK, he did his BSc from Badoda University, went to UK, did his PhD in physics, joined a molecular biology lab in UK and got the chemistry Nobel Prize. Chemistry, physics, biology, sab kuch mila diya. That is future. You should see that, that Indian guy got a Nobel Prize. And I'll later on talk a little about it. And then some very unassuming man who is sitting in Allahabad. Allahabad ka naam badal gaya, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Yuri Milner Prize. Three times the Nobel Prize amount. They give three million dollars. This man, Ashok Sen, who works there. I talked to him once. You will never know he's such a, he won such a big prize. Very simple looking man. He won that in 2012. Three times of the Nobel Prize. So be proud of that. And my wife and I, we were going around in Florence in Italy. Thoda sair ke liye jate hain apne hotel ke piche. And we found this place. A concert hall. What do they in concert hall? They have opera, you know, opera items. They have concerts and they have other things, celebrations. See, you cannot see. Okay. The last one, you, since you can't read, I magnified it here. And who, what is who? Uske upur picture kiska laga hua hai? Indian. Zubin Mehta, Parsi. We call him in Bombay Apro Zubin Mehta. Gujarati bolte hai. So, this man is a king of conductors in of philharmonic orchestras. Jo ab Mozart or ye Beethoven ye sab se dekhte ho na, saal log baja rahe hote hain. He conducts them. He goes to Vienna, he goes to New York, he goes to Los Angeles. You name the place. He is honored by Israel and he is honored by Florence. Not just honored. Yahan par pure 2011 ka program diya hua hai. Us is hall mein kya kya hoga? Florence is the most flashy and rich country. You see, full year program, January to December is displayed here. What will happen in this hall? Seven programs out of 22 total, only Zubin Mehta. That is the kind of craze for, in Florence for our Indian conductor who, you know, is a, is a kind of a pioneer in this movement. He is still living, now getting old around 88 or so, but he till, till about two years ago, he was going all over the world. I saw once he came to TFR, Indira Gandhi had invited him those days to come and conduct. He has to move with two plane loads. One plane load only his people who jo bajate hai, stage par, and their equipment in another plane. So this is the kind of you know activity which somebody is doing. And hum apne ghar mein vaitke nahi jaante hai. Hamara admi kitna strong hai. And look here, Israel. Wise man who was their first president of Israel 
when Israel became independent, one year after India became independent. Wise man, he was a biochemist by the way. He became first president of Israel but he died after three years or so, that doesn't matter. Now there is a wise man institute of science which is the biggest scientific you know, culture of Israel. Israel is very good in science. Uh, we go there sometimes. We have gone four times to the wise man instead of science. They have preserved wise man's house. The way he was living, his Rolls Royce, his everything is kept there in a corner of the campus. What is interesting to see, which most of you can't see from this projection is, this is study. Hai. Sorry. Huh. On, the, on the top, you see his own private study. Uski study ke saamne, jab Weizmann baihta tha, sirf do pictures hoti thi. Ek uski wife, dousri kiski, Rajendra Prasad, our president. He had only two pictures. Abhi bhi wo wahan par rakhi hui. I mean, I feel so great. Somebody comes and explains when we go around. I have gone there twice or so. I feel very proud. Passion for teaching. There are teachers and teachers and teachers. You have some very good teachers here, I am sure. I think the, among the best teachers of the world was S. Chandrasekhar, Nobel Prize winner. You know, when he was 19, he, he, he finished his MSc in Lahore because his father was working there as ICS. He took a ship those days. He went to Cambridge. While he was going on the ship, he used to take a month or so in the ship. South Africa se circle mark jayega. There was no Suez canal and all. On his way, he developed a theory. He was a good theoretical physicist, which was on white dwarfs, you know, nature of stars and all that, which gave him Nobel Prize maybe 50 years after that, six, 55 years. But I am talking about him as a teacher. You know, in 1940s, he joined this, this uh, University of Chicago. He was a professor there at least for 5, 0, 50 years teaching, whether he got an old prize or after that. In 1940s, while he was based at University of Chicago, he had to do his astrophysics physics experiment at an observatory which was 100 miles away. But he will come back to his university to take his class. He can't miss his teaching. It, he will come back, teach his class, drive back to his observatory for doing his experiments. One day, he was very pleasantly surprised that his whole class got the Nobel Prize. Whole class? How can the whole class get? But there are only two students. And both of them were Chinese. Lee and Yang. Lee and Yang got the Nobel Prize. And he himself has not yet got the Nobel Prize. He got 25 years later. He also got. So this is the thrill of science. Sometimes your children can go, your students go ahead of you. And you are still so happy. And you talk of Pune Institute, you know, Serum Institute by Punawala. Everybody reads. They make the world's largest vaccine factory. Okay, it is supplying to India and everywhere. But what you don't know is, you may have vaccine in India syringe also, no? There we have one of the largest syringe factories in Haryana, Ballabhagat near Delhi. They have also geared up. And this is a New York Times report I am writing. They make very cheap syringes with high quality control. I think we should be proud of that also. Now science can be fun. Don't tell me any of your, you students have not done this experiment in your young days. And impress your children, friends. I'll, I'll do that. Now I know. Hey, karega, karega, don't know. So, look at this is centripetal force. But it gives the thrill. If she does not do it with a velocity, the whole water will fall on her. So, I'm bachman of both and they go pani ni gira. So, this is one. So science gives you thrills. What else science does? Science provides rationale, reasoning, logic for things. How does it? This is a typical example. This guy whose photograph I am showing, he 
is about 40 years old, he's alive. He is known to be world's most fearless rock climber. उसके मन में डर नहीं है वो कुछ भी लेके नहीं जाता जो रॉक क्लाइंबिंग करने वाले दे टेक रस्सी अकीला और हैमर और बांध के और सो मेनी पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प ही डजेंट फॉर नो फॉर हिम व्हाट ही डज इट यू सी हियर आप नहीं देख पाओगे बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू वो वहां जाके खड़ा हो गया एक लेज पे इफ यू गिव मी 1 करोड़ रुपीस आई वांट गो देयर बिकॉज़ आई एम नो आई एम गोइंग टू फॉल डाउन एंड डाई this man has no fear no aids for his thing he is standing there then look at the oh kaise hang kar raha hai and there are real pictures so a movie was made on him in uh, hollywood a documentary free solo but 5 years ago to so, now how to explain ye kya ho raha hai people thought koi jadoo kar raha hai lagta hai shayad isko kuch uh, jadoo to na hai no they did a fmri you know functional mri on his brain what happens when you see a cobra coming to you he immediately go back you you have sudden fire you you retract that is done by a small part in your brain called amygdala uska amygdala chalta hi nahi hai means usko fear kaise hoega uske paas aap bade se bada cobra rakh do usko dar hi nahi hai because it doesn't trigger here the fear it is not doing that so that is science has told us why this man is doing all this science rationalizes science provides thrills to active researchers i won't explain here this is the only nanotechnology international institute in the world it is in a city called braga in portugal once i went there so the students send me a greeting card every year they make special at christmas and new year but the greeting card must be made out of their own devices so whatever devices they made in the previous year they must use them for making a card so that is it science explains this is physics uh, professor pawar has been teaching all this that why is it that different materials are different there may have different elements they may have different bonding they may have different but all that you know science explains to us what is good quality science education if you ask me now somebody will say which gives you lot of knowledge packing jam packing hard packing no but that is one part which builds curiosity we have been talking of curiosity ever since i started speaking or that gives you jobs i would say all three put together then that is the best science education science education must lead to curiosity i said gps how many of you know you can read in google it will tell you how gps works i will save my time move ahead gps one interesting thing i want to tell again i am coming to zoology or maybe biology nature never uses wheels for movement ye hum human logon ko इसको उर्दू में बोलते खब तो है हमारा क्रेजीनेस है हमारा हर चीज व्हील से ही चलता है यू नो व्हेन आई ड्राइव सपोज आई ड्राइव आई आई डोंट नो ड्राइविंग सपोज आई ड्राइव माय कार आई एम सिटिंग अलोन गोइंग आई यूज ओनली वन परसेंट ऑफ डीजल और पेट्रोल फॉर मूविंग मी माय सेल्फ द रेस्ट नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट आई इधर इंजन एफिशेंसी इज पुअर और फ्रिक्शन ऑफ द रोड और यू नो हीटिंग ऑफ द इंजन or pulling a 300 300 kg car with me just because i want to travel but this is a foolishness but then nature doesn't use an ant can carry thousands of times of its own weight special ants which they can carry so can we copy nature can we make artificial muscles can we do all these things in the lab in bhc we try to make this artificial muscles from a conducting polymer a matter of detail don't bother yourself too much but it was to show to the public that if i apply plus 2 volts this muscle goes in the left side minus 2 volts right side if i apply ac voltage tak 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 like a rattle snake so this is my basic muscle action which you can demonstrate and can you generate your own bones if they got suppose my leg gets cut you go to farming agriculture 
Every year so many people are losing their limbs because they get stuck into some machine and all that. So how do, there, are, there are living things in the world which are called amphibians like salamander. This, this, this uh, amphibian can regenerate its own arm in 40 days flat. It is shown here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 40 days. But we human may take maybe 40 months, but we don't let it grow because we humko lagta hai antiseptic lagao, septic ho jayega. We snub it, its growth right in the beginning. But it can be done, I'll, I'll not uh, go into detail. Bone, again I'm explaining how the, as I'm sitting here, my bones are being replenished. It, there, every bone has a front. It goes on dissolving the old part and start, piece se dusra naya front aata hai. Nayi bone banti jati. But it's micrograms per day or so. Very poor uh, efficiency and time. Flying. Humans can't do only one thing. Flying. Baki sab kuch hum swimming, running, hitting, whatever we can do, walking. But not flying. And the best flying lessons are given by birds. Even now Boeing or uh, Airbus, when they design their new planes, it is copying of birds. How nature fixed these bones, feathers, flying, and the whole thrust ahead of it. The, some people study only birds, because birds tell you so many things. Let us look at masters. The old great, greatest masters possibly in modern science was Faraday. Faraday. You know how many days, uh, things he discovered? Sometimes we say, if he was alive in the days of Nobel Prizes, he would have got at least five Nobel Prizes, if not six. Because he liquefied chlorine, made benzene, discovered an electromagnetic forces induction, made the first dynamo, made the first motor, and so on. And the capacity unit is known after him, called Farad. So look at that. He was a master. Who made the world's first ever nano measurement? Not the modern scientists. We only talk of nano science, technology, do so many things. It was Benjamin Franklin. You know that guy who was a patanguda ke bijli ko control karna chata tha. So this man, one day he reported 250 years ago that I had made a measurement of one nanometer length, more or less, which is a molecule. He could tell by his calculation. He put 2 cc of a surfactant, surface active agent. What is a surfactant? A long molecule, organic. One side is water hating, one side is water loving. So he put it on the pond, 2000 square meters. 2 cc covered it wholly, one monolayer. He calculated that one monolayer means one monomolecule must be one nanometer. He did it, it is recorded. Now, how do we excite our own children? Today's exercise is, how many students I can retain sitting here, still after 45 minutes, to, is it popular enough what I am talking? So how do we really control the, the interests of students? Our own school system, he was mentioning that I was in charge of our schools. Scientific temper, how do we develop among children? Our junior college in Anu Shakti Nagar, has possibly the best electrical lab in India. These are cutouts. Children can work with them, all electrical gadgets. I won't give names because that will take time. Similarly, go to Kalpakkam. We have a small part, part called Anupuram. There's a school there. We have the best science part. We have invested a lot of money in that. Interactive. You can even see how Lissajous figures operate. You know, very complex physics principles. Children can do it. Schools bring their students in droves to, to see what is a science park. So this is how one has to interest science. Now my best effort in the last five years. What happened? We have a video recording studio in Anushakti Nagar adjacent to Baba Atom Research Center. I was in charge of all that. I thought, let me do big. First experiment I did was, I called Dr. Badwe, Rajendra Badwe, who is the boss of all cancer Tata hospitals in India. Tata Memorial Center, he is the boss. So I told him, will you talk to my eight standard students and explain what is cancer? 
He came, he's sitting here talking to them. Just with empty hands, he's explaining. He's number one. Imagine learning what is cancer from him for one hour. Children will never forget that. Similarly, Dr. Banerjee, our earlier chairman, Dr. Chidambaram, and on the right hand side, you have our best dentist, BRC. I asked her, this time I give you KG students. Will you explain to KG students what is dental health? She did it eminently successfully. And all those videos are available. I brought Nobel laureates. I thought my school students must be exposed how a Nobel laureate looks like, how he talks. Now this man, French Nobel laureate is Jean Marie Lenn. He's from Strasbourg. He comes to India even now. He got it 33 years ago. That way, he is one of the senior most Nobel laureates. He came, he talked about science to students. Again, Croto, who discovered nanoscience and nanotechnology, fullerene molecule, he interacted with our students for one hour. <coughs> I wrote an article about Croto because this relates to what we are talking today. What I have written there, the essence of my article, you can read it in CSR today, the Corporate Social Responsibility Journal of Bombay. He said, uh, this is Croto saying, Croto was a very good orator, a Nobel laureate and a discoverer of eminence. Ask a school or college student to divide just two, two sums, multiply karo. Immediately they take out calculators. Why can't they do it with multiplication tables, he says. Because we the multiplication table is cramming, rote. He says it is not rote, it is memorizing. It is not bad to do, learn some multiplication tables. Similarly, in old days we could dismember a watch and learn whose mechanism is but then he told so many things and he was praising, if you want to learn coding and graphic arts and design, it will help you all through your life. If you are a good graphic designer, he was. That's how he explained his molecules. I said, what is science? What is innovation? Suppose I give, tell you today, I am a NASA scientist or I am a scientist from Europe. I have discovered Higgs boson, which is a God particle. You must have read in newspaper sometime. I'll give it to you. How much will you pay, pay me? You won't give even one rupee to me. Why? It is of no use to you. You only learn it but from newspaper. Uska kya karenge aap? Kuch bhi nahi. So an in innovation is transformation of an idea or invention into goods or services that creates value or for which customer will pay. Innovation has no meaning if customer doesn't pay for it. Like Uber Taxi is an app, which is an innovation. Stethoscope was an innovation made by a French doctor. Uske pehle, you know, there was no stethoscope. And computers, miniaturization is an innovation of computers. From Ethernet bade se chota karte karte now my smartphone is more or less a computer. Now, a little bit I want to complicate by saying what we can't do and what nature can do. We must learn that nature can do things controlling homeostatic capabilities. What is homeostasis? Living organism can survive by controlling their body temperature, pH, blood pressure, sugar levels. Hum wo material lab mein nahi bana sakte hain ab tak. Why? Because nature can do things reversibly. Chemical energy to mechanical, mechanical to chemical. Nature is mastered it. Back and forth and feedback controls. That's what is homeostasis. We can make either chemical to mechanical or mechanical to chemical, but not reversibly. So that we have to learn. Can it be done? I'll go quick. Yes, you can. Their people have designed, they are closing in on materials which can do homeostasis. These are called these days materiomics. This is a new science. Anything omics means biology. Genomics, proteomics, and so on. So materiomics means materials plus biology put together. 
I already told you about Venkatraman Ramakrishnan. His Nobel laureate citation was using the word active living matter. Living matter. He worked with living matter. So living matter is one thing which will give you jobs if you work with active living matter. I give a talk sometimes on what is active living matter. So I say sometimes in schools and colleges and universities, you have 100 billion neurons in our brain, each person. You have 100 billion galaxies in the universe. You have 1 trillion microbes in a human gut. In my gut, it's called microbiome or microbiota. You have 37 trillion cells in a human body. अभी तो बहुत काम करना बाकी है भाई जिसको हिंदी में वो गाना है ना पार्टी तो अभी शुरू हुई है सो वी मस्ट वी मस्ट गेट गोइंग साइंस में बहुत करने को बाकी है सी नाउ आई वांट टू गिव यू एन एग्जांपल हाउ स्टूडेंट्स सिटिंग इन योर लैब हियर राइट हियर इन इन बारामती टीसी कॉलेज कैन आल्सो डू व्हाट सम अदर स्टूडेंट्स डिड इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया देयर इज अ मैन who was a very greedy type, Martin Shkreli. He is in jail now in USA because he cheated. There was a drug called Darpaprim, Daraprim. It is more or less like uh, treating malaria related things. One tablet was costing $18 about eight years ago. What this greedy fellow did, he bought the company for $2 million because the sale was not much. Now his greed told $18 से सीधा $750 प्राइस कर दिए 40 गुना एंड ही थॉट ही विल बिकम ए बिलियनर लाइक दैट ये स्टूडेंट्स ने क्या किया 11 स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स इन इन ए स्कूल हाई स्कूल जूनियर कॉलेज यू कैन से विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर केमिस्ट्री टीचर इन देयर केमिस्ट्री लैब यूजिंग अल्डेज केमिकल्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो दे मेड द सेम ड्रग फॉर $1 और सो यू लुक देयर $2 उसको फ्लैट कर दिया यंग स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव नॉट इवन गॉट स्कूल डिग्री येट सो इट कैन बी डन इफ यू हैव ब्रेन यू हैव सपोर्ट एंड यू हैव द कॉलेज सपोर्ट ऑल्सो ऑल द टाइम मैं बाहर जाता हूँ कभी फॉरेन में कंट्रीज में मैं कभी कभी बहुत दुखी होता हूँ बॉम्बे में क्या होता है पीपल डाई एवरी ईयर समथिंग लाइक वन थाउजेंड पीपल डाई इन दे गेट सक्ट इन टू अंडर द ट्रेन बिकॉज या तो हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म इधर है ट्रेन का लेवल इधर है बीच में लोग गया और लेटरल डिफरेंस प्लेटफॉर्म इधर है ट्रेन उधर है पीपल गेट पीपल है पुल्ड आउट सम सच पीपल सेव देम सो दैट दे डोंट गेट कट बाय ट्रेन हम क्यों ऐसी ट्रेन नहीं बना सकते हैं दिस इन वालंसिया आई टूक फोटोग्राफ्स देर इज अ स्मॉल मैकेनिज्म विच ओपन डोर ओपन एंड इट ऑल्सो गोज एंड कवर्स दैट गैप यू नीड अ गैप एनी वे फॉर द ट्रेन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म अदरवाइज तो ट्रेन प्लेटफॉर्म से रगड़ जाएगी ना सो टॉकिंग ऑफ सम इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स कैन आई टेक अनदर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स और सो समी कंट्रोलिंग आई कैन सी अंकिन पंद्रह मिनट चाले का फोर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड इंडियन अमेरिकन गर्ल वन ए ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर प्राइज फॉर हर इनोवेशन You can read the name, and that innovation relates to today's COVID. Possibly a drug of COVID, possibly can be made using her ideas. She was given the award. Another girl, Manasa Mendu, she won in five years ago again twenty five thousand dollars for her innovation because she is using in her device. The device is only made from recycled materials, costing only five dollars. She is using. मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एज वेल एज सोलर एनर्जी बोथ टूगेदर रात को सोलर नहीं तो मैकेनिकल तो है ना हवा चल रही है सो शी यू कैन डू एनर्जी हार्वेस्टिंग अगेन पॉसिबली वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट बाय इंडियन ग्रेजुएट्स आईआईटी ग्रेजुएट्स एंड ऑल दैट आईआईटी ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम खड़गपुर दिस टू बॉयज दे मेड ए कंपनी कॉल कार्बन क्लीन सोल्यूशन दे स्टार्टेड विद दे मेड ए ब्रेक थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी they can capture carbon dioxide from a emit emission of a plant and convert it into baking soda because they have made a chemical for that so they have placed their technology in tutikoran demonstrating to the world 
you can now capture all the carbon dioxide, it will not go outside into the environment. And now they are doing it so many places, they have a company. Or a SAE, I am IIT graduates of India, working abroad. Ek Bihar ka ladka, his name is Gyanesh Pandey. Wo apne gaon aata Bihar mein, gaon chota hai, 2000 people living there. He will always go back sad. Uske gaon mein bijli nahi hai. Why? First of all, gaon is too remote. How to lay the electric lines to that? Very expensive. Achha, wahan par na solar bhi jada nahi hai. Wahan par kuch bhi, mat aisi chiz nahi, par wahan rice bahut hota hai. So rice ki husk, you know, you burn these days, people say it is pollution. Using rice husk, they can generate power. They did it for their village, showed it, demonstrated to the plant. Some other uh, people also joined him from America, Indians. And now they made a, they make a microgrid. They said, ideal microgrid, if you join 300 villages, it will always give you cheaper than any other electricity. So they have a world's largest microgrid developer company now, including in Africa and all they are doing. So our innovators are also going ahead. MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology in USA, every year it gives 35 awards to be people below 35 years, 35 for 35. Sometimes Indians also get this award. Again, an Anushakti Nagar product, this girl, she is the daughter of my colleague, B. Vankatramani, who was head of the analytical chemistry division for some time. She did her schooling from our schools, B.Sc. in Bombay, M.Sc. in Coimbatore when his, her father retired, Ph.D. in Singapore. Now she is in the world's best bio lab. Cold Spring Harbor Lab, very small lab, eight Nobel laureates are working there right now. She, see, okay, she is a very bright student. How should she become popular among her colleagues? She made this painting with Indian ink. This painting is one of the sites in their campus. They like her painting so much, they put it in their newsletter. And the title was, How Art and Science Can Work in Tandem. This, is, this was given in 2019 in the magazine of Cold Spring Harbor Lab. So we are proud of that. And be proud of this man, possibly the only person in USA to become Surgeon General of United States for two bar, not eight bar. He is now 44 or so, he is an Indian. He did his MD, MBA, all those things. He is an excellent doctor. So he was chosen by Obama to become Surgeon General. Then Trump came and took him away. Biden came and took him away again. So three years ago, now he is also here. He is a very popular person and he is a Vice Admiral because he is a Surgeon General. Whoever is a Surgeon General, he is a Vice Admiral too. Because hundreds of US medical doctors who are working on Navy ships of USA, they are all under him. This is our contribution in BRC. We have a patent, US patent, European patent. I was involved of an artificial heart. It's a matter of detail. People can ask me later because time chala jayega. BRC innovation. My colleagues, maybe six years ago or so, they made a small ECG unit. This can be coupled in a remote village to your smartphone. You can convey the ECG of a person to a doctor sitting in Bombay, Pune or wherever and he can tell you what is wrong. So this is an innovation, and your battery can record maybe a few hundred ECGs before it is down. So these are made by BRC. Again, we were talking yesterday, I and principal, about multidisciplinary knowledge. I was always conscious that physicists somehow are very scared of uh, chemistry and biology. So we ran a course for two weeks where we taught young PhD students who were about to submit their thesis or those who have already got their PhD one year ago or so. We called them for two weeks, paid everything to them and I called the best lecturers available in India and abroad to talk to them 
four lectures each on what is biology, what is chemistry, organic chemistry. When I was retiring in BRC, I thought biology, if it is taught by professional biologists, you know, third, fourth slide onward, they, they go, like physics people, they go into complexity. And the audience sort them, kuch hoga chod do. I thought a non biologist should teach biology to physicists and chemists. I did that, four lectures. I will give biology lectures. The last lecture was given when I retired, the day I retired. And he knows the person. I called Dr. S.K. Apte, who was a group director of biology and medical division. Please sit in the front row. If ever I make a mistake in biology, point out. Polymath, I said Baba was a polymath. This man was the biggest polymath ever. You can say he was the grandfather of modern science. Leonardo da Vinci, he was living in Italy, young boy, but he had so many capabilities. Read about it in Google. Go to that. I, I will not spend time on that. I wrote an article in Hindu about him. Five, uh, in 2019, his 500th death anniversary. This man was too great. You know what he did? Milan King, King of Milan, the city, those days small city states were there. He hired him for something else, for defense, as a defense advisor. But this man made a smart city there because half of Milan was dead in plague those days. He made a smart city, suggested what should be done. He did many other things. He was like Croto and Baba, you know, thinking beyond, thinking out of the box. Interesting thing is, Leonardo left 13,000, this was before printing press came, everything handwritten, coded, you know, only he can read. 13,000 pages of notes design. Who owns the biggest collection of his notes? Queen of England. She bought, she has a private collection of Leonardo's notebooks. And Bill Gates, Bill Gates bought one notebook, 70 pages, for 30 million dollars. Oh, kabhi na kabhi to uske ideas kaam mein aayenge na, wo to bhoat bright tha. And, for some five years ago, one of his paintings was auctioned for a record price. 45 million dollars, 500 years after he made it. Again, there's a matter of detail, but I'll tell you in, you don't look at that. You know, in our heart, we have aorta, but there's a wall. Agar wo wall na hota, to humari pulse na hoti. Because when flowing system is closed or closed, it evolves. Otherwise, the fluid is running like the water is running. Then how will you get throbbing? Throbbing is done by the wall. Everybody knew there is a wall, but nobody knew how valve is closed and open. This man did an experiment. He brought an ox, a bull. His heart was done with surgery. And he gave a theory that there are eddy currents of blood which circulate so fast, close the wall. Just after the first pump, the one given pump is gone, wall closes, no? Otherwise, next throb will not be there. He, he explained that only recently it could be confirmed he was right because now you have the best of equipment to show MRI scans and all. He was right with his crude capabilities. Again, in overlord in biology, in medical science, Cahel, he was living in um, Spain, working alone under optical microscope. He got Nobel Prize in 1906. How he got? He was a very good painter, like Leonardo. He could draw things under the microscope. He was the first person to see a neuron. You know your neurology, neuroscience, topics in biology and medicine now. He was the first person. And he suggested if one neuron talks to the other neuron through a synapse, which is a gap, which is a matter of detail. Again, this was confirmed only 40 years after he got the Nobel Prize that he was right by using electron microscopy. Now cancer, I'm coming to the end of more or less my talk. I'll cut out some slides. See. In, Department of Atomic Energy has large institutional hospitals to treat cancer, Tata, which is under our department. How do you cure cancer? Three ways, we say. Either you cut it, 
surgery, the tumor you cut it, or you burn it, radiation therapy, or you poison it, chemotherapy. These are the only three ways. But normally, when we don't have cancer, if any alien molecule comes, like these days we talk of virus and all, our immune system is a defense against that. We read so much about immune these days. Immune response gets triggered if anything alien comes. It doesn't recognize it, maro. That's what the immune system does. But it cancer cell. Ko nahi marta hai. Kyo? Cancer cell is, is not an alien. It's a child like your home. It's a child like your home. It's a child like your home. So same thing. This molecule is a rogue. A cancer cell is, gone, is a normal cell gone rogue. Our immune system is not alien to think that it not attack it. And you get a tumor. So this man, another Nobel laureate, I again won't give you details, James Allison, he made a checkpoint blockade system. He was a medical doctor. He wanted to work in cancer. He did his PhD biochemistry after getting medical degree. Because he wanted to work in enzymes. He designed a molecule, which he bypassed the checkpoint. Ko. Checkpoint means like snake. I said, no, you pass me, you will come back. So, the hidden immune system ki, uh, lethargy, which is its no, is to remove it. So, he did that. He modified an enzyme from a molecule. Ko modify kar diya, and now you have this. This man is merrily playing an orchestra, and all the Partners in or his orchestra are oncologists, cancer doctors. Otherwise, you will not get entry in his orchestra. This man is still living. He got a Nobel Prize some years ago. And look at the left. You can't, you can't see possibly. His wife is an Indian. She is also an MD doctor. In middle, his like humko hota na, Lata Mangesha is my, 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 my God. So I want to get photographed with Lata Mangeshkar. Similarly, this man wants to get photographed with a Texas country song play, uh, singer. His dream was in childhood. He was standing with him because now he's a Nobel laureate. So that's when he comes to meet him. This I am standing. I give you in BRC. I spent 45 years. When things are normal and nothing big is happening, continue to learn new skills. When I was not doing well, sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't do well. I, I'll give you a list of things I learned. I was in chemistry division with physicists. I learned how to do glass blowing. I learned furnace winding, spot welding, soldering contacts, designing a glass liquid nitrogen cryostat, use of vacuum equipment, assembly of a vacuum line, use of a Tesla coil, arc melting, working on a lathe. I go to my own workshop, I can work on a lathe. I went to Orsay, Paris, big lab. They said, no, ask the glass floor, I am here. Are you go. Give me a torch. Give me your glass. I will see. I have no, no, no problem. I can do it in no time. So all these skills help you later. No skill goes waste. Even if you know a minor skill, kabhi na kabhi to use hoga. So I made in BRC, during my PhD days, 50 years ago, an, an equipment which can measure one nano ohm. Us time, this type of meter nahi hote the. There was no digital technology. Those I'm talking about 1970, 1970. So, kithli ka ek analog meter aata tha. Kali ek needle ghumti hai, digital nahi. We used it as a null detector. We designed circuitry so that I can measure a one nano ohm resolution equipment. Possibly first in India that time. Using that, I made many measurements. I got the data from National Bureau of Standards. I reproduced that in BRC. So I'm on the right track. I measured many. I made many arc melting I knew. So I made new metal. Alloys, uh, power will know. Chromium has a special magnetism. Spin density wave, antiferrometer. In that, I became known. With time, kya hua? I, I, in my lab with my colleagues, I made a lot of several phase super. This was before high TC superconductivity came. I made all of them and measured and published. 
I made organic superconductor with IIT Bombay. They made, I measured. And then finally my day came. I was invited by the French lab I was talking of in Orsay on a special fellowship, very prestigious one. This man called me. He was a king in spin glass field in the physics in the world. So they called me. I was working there. And an invitation came from Toronto to me. Can you come here for 20, just two months, 60 days? We'll pay you anything. Of course, I had to take BRC permission. I went there. The idea was, they were many senior professors. I was 40. They were 50, 60 established senior professors. They had not been able to start an activity on superconductor. Will you come here and somehow coordinate? We know you do well. We have seen your papers. I went there. On 58th day, we sent a publication to Physica C, which has 156 citations even today. So that was done by me. I became further known. I went to Bell Labs. I went so many places. This was the man who called me from Toronto, Fawcett, my guru. I am these days writing an article on him. So this is the paper which is listed here, 158 citation. And actually, I used to tell him, you have published a large paper in 1988, which is spin density wave anti on chromium. He was a number one in the world. That's why I was attached to what he was doing. He had told me, no, so I did that. Now he says, come on, we'll do that. So we have an article on reviews of modern physics. I think only 12 to 14 people in India have published in that journal. It is by invitation. Baba has two articles on that, let me say. And G. Venkataraman has one. So I have one. Okay. So this was because of my closeness to this man. And then when I went second time, I was invited to a ship in Los Angeles in, in Long Beach, California, there is a ship, even now standing, it is a, it's a hotel. It is called the Queen Mary ship. There was a conference, they invited me to make presentations. Oh, idea I had, okay, but I always look for the next step, how I can go further. I came across this man, he knows, her man. So I told him, if I, you and my group, your group, my group work on the same thallium based superconductors, can we write a book? Because if I write as a man from Bombay, no American publisher will take. And he was a king. He knew that field. He was holding the record for the highest TC for a few years. He said yes. He talked to me on the ship. I gave him the whole plan. You must be prepared. Whether you get a chance or opportunity or not, you should have the capability for that first. So I had that. We mopped my last two slides. We were organizing a symposium. I said to my BRC colleagues in 2009, let us organize the symposium in a new way. Half the symposium in Amritsar, then take all of them to Dalhousie, a hill station in Himachal Pradesh. There will be a few foreigners and people will interact and they will benefit more and in Dalhousie they will be still more relaxed. So, this man was the chief guest, Robert Metzger. He is known to have He's older than me, still living in Alabama. He made the world's first organic molecular, uni, unimolecular rectifier. One molecular rectifier. He's known for that. Now, the principal of this school, Dalhousie Public School, we, we were using their facilities, Bosch School. We went there. So I talked to the principal, the Apka, auditorium and he said, please welcome. They gave us our guest house room and everything. Then in return he says, will you talk your chief guest to talk to my 12th standard students? I said, yes, we both went. It was a chemistry lab. 12th standard students were doing their experiments. Principal said, stop. We have a guest from America. He will talk to you. Now, this is the capability of good speakers. Without any preparation, no notice, he talked to them for half an hour. I was standing and watching. The essence of the talk was never give up. That's what the, he told the student. Keep trying. That's the only cartoon to tell you. Keep trying. So, I never give up. 
11 months, 12 months ago, I published a book on superconductivity written alone by me during COVID times at home. And this is my possibly biggest mentor, even larger than previous mentors in France, Olivier Kahn. He, my collaboration with him was only for five years or so because he died, unfortunately. He was a king in the world in his field. So, when try to choose the best person. You talk about small things. You go to the top person. Suppose you want to make an automobile. You go to Toyota, go to Suzuki, go to uh, General Motors. Why you go to some ordinary workshop fellows and all? So, if you are lucky, if you can impress them, you will also become great. So, that's what I wanted to tell you today. This is the last one. I always say our students will win. They are our building blocks. 21st century, we will be the winners. Why? Because we have certain inherent qualities in our culture, Indian culture. In, in uh, countries abroad, they call it Gandhian values, but Indian culture. You know, we have tolerance, perseverance, tenacity, resilience, sacrifice, frugal living, Non-violence. You will be the leaders. You see, after a few decades, India will be leading in science also. Look at this man, Mahatma Gandhi, standing outside the door of 10 Downing Street, which is the residence and office of Prime Minister of UK. In 1931, he went for a meeting. November May, 30th November or so, 3rd November. It is cold. People are wearing double suits. This man khali ek lungi pen ke khada hua hoda. Chappals me khada hua. It is his moral strength which was giving him strength. So, I have written some poetry likhta hoon kabhi kabhi. What I had written, Mufli si ki ek chadar oad kar baad shahon ko kuchalte jaiye. Mufli si means garibhi. Un dino to India garib ta na. Ek garib ki chadar pen ke usne UK could hear Kardia. Thank you. Now, Abhyo Bhakti, poem. What a Kadeoki Karnapode. So, can you put the no, I need a PDF, which I have given. Or I'll get to my mobile. But I want people to see on the screen also. No, just a little bit adjust it so that one will not come. Slide it down. Can you? That's not it. Go to the top, first slide. Now, do a little bit more. Make it slightly larger. Can you make it larger? You can. It's below, right? Let's do it. Yes, it's done. Let's stop here. Now, when I'm going to press the next one. So, I said I'll be reciting a poem because we are also celebrating science and Hamari Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav that is the title of whatever activity goes on in this one full year. So under that let me say I wrote a poem not today it was written 15 years ago but I keep updating it. Tum dekhoge hum dekhenge dekhegi dunia sari ye to aise hai but now the next paragraphs, whenever I raise my finger, time has come to say, Dekhe ki dunia sari. And I want, oh, kya hota? Josh. Josh chahi hai mereko. Josh. Huh? Next. Kabhi tarakki ho na hamari. Kabhi tarakki ho na hamari. Thi paschim ki sab tayari. Ab nazdik hai apni bari. Hindustan ko badte, Hindustan ko padte bari. Good, good. You are, you are, you are doing it well. Next. 
रोटी कपड़े की लाचारी पुराने जमाने में इंडिया एक अरब सौ करोड़ तादाद हमारी पॉपुलेशन खुद पे ही पड़ती थी भारी वी वर डाइंग अंडर अवर ओन वेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ताकत वो ही आज हमारी हम थे तुम थे असमंजस में मुश्किल टेंशन घोर गरीबी कुछ ना बस में अब जो उठे हैं तोड़ के रस में जोश भरा है अब नस नस में हम तो हमेशा मेहनत कश थे सम फॉरेन कंट्रीज यूज टू से नो दिस इंडियंस आर लेजी हॉट कंट्री ट्रॉपिकल ये कुछ होने वाला नहीं है बट देन हम तो हमेशा मेहनत कश थे वी वर ऑलवेज हार्ड वर्किंग कर ना पाए कुछ बेबस थे सीढ़ी दर सीढ़ी अब चढ़ते जो ना किया अब हमको करते एल्डरली पीपल कैन ऑल्सो शाउट वेलकम आए सुनामी भूकंप आए सुनामी आ जाए भूकंप आ जाए आजकल हम मदद नहीं मांगते हम हमारे पास बहुत कुछ है देश कभी ना हाथ फैलाए मुल्क पड़ोसी भी बच पाए अब हमने साधन है जुटाए I'll, I'll give you one line on that. We started doing this from Bhuj earthquake. जब Bhuj में earthquake आया गुजरात में, America said we'll give you two hundred dollars the aid, but we'll give four hundred dollars to Pakistan. They were always favoring Pakistan against us. All the arms sale and all that. India said nothing to him. We don't need your two hundred dollars. Two hundred million. On the contrary, we are giving four hundred million dollars to Sri Lanka and all that. Other countries. तो so, अपना पैसा अपने पास रखो अभी हमारे पास है सब कुछ नेक्स्ट सैंक्शन की वो बातें करते आजकल सैंक्शन वर्ड हो गया मीन्स किसी को टाइट करना अमेरिका हैज बिन डूइंग इट टू फॉर इयर्स पर्टिकुलर इन अटोमिक एनर्जी डिपार्टमेंट दे वॉन्ट लेट एस बाई दिस लेट एस बाई दैट बहुत मुश्किल है गैरों की हाँ में हाँ भरते पाकिस्तान उसको तो हो गया सब कुछ रहेंगे अब ना हम डर डर के उन्हें हमारी मेहनत करते अभी वो हमारे पास ही आते हैं ना अमेरिका वाले ये देखेंगे जरा नेक्स्ट चीज हमारी हमें सिखाते यू नो डॉक्टर मशेलकर फ्रॉम पूना ही वाज़ द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु ब्रॉट ए रेवोल्यूशन इन मेकिंग पेटेंट्स ही स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मनी ही ब्रॉट पेटेंट्स बैक टू इंडिया बिकॉज अमेरिकन सम अदर कंपनीज मेडिसिन कंपनीज दे वर टेकिंग अवे अवर इंडिजिनस टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड फाइलिंग पेटेंट्स एंड सेंग हमारा पेटेंट है अरे हल्दी तुम्हारा है क्या नीम तुम्हारा है क्या हमारा भी तो है ना उतना ही सो so, चीज हमारी हमें सिखाते आईपीआर की रोक लगाते इंडिया इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स आईपीआर रहेंगे इस तो माल मिलाते सब मशेल कर सैड वी विल कंटिन्यू टू यूज यू हैव योर पेटेंट्स हल्दी हो या नीम के नुस्खे बाबा मैं टॉमोलॉजी का हूं तो कुछ बात तो करूंगा ना बाबा से कुछ रामन्ना से सीखा हमने बढ़ना आगे आइसोटोप से कैंसर भागे बीज नए सोना उगलाते नेक्स्ट एटम से कई काम करा दे घर घर में बिजली पहुंचा दे वक्त जरूरत बम भी बना दे आगे अभी से क्या बतला दे बेंगलोर या सिलिकॉन वैली बेंगलोर या सिलिकॉन वैली हमसे रवानी आईटी की इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इंडिया इज नोन फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वेदर सिलिकॉन वाली और सॉफ्टवेयर की धाक जमा दी कंप्यूटर्स में अपनी आंधी गुजरे वक्त में थी नालंदा मैंने बात किया था अपने टॉक में आईआईटी का आज है डंका आईआईएम खुद ब्रांड बने हैं इसके आगे अब जो होगा विश्व बैंक के भारी थे ऋण कोई जमाने में आज से चालीस साल पहले हम पे बहुत लोन थे देश विदेशी मुद्रा के बिन वी हैव टू सेल अवर वी हैव टू मॉट गेज अवर गोल्ड टू यूके बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड सम डॉलर और पाउंड जिस रुपए का भाव ना था कुछ आज उसी की ताकत पल ताकत पल छिन अरे थोड़ा कम हो गया क्या हो गया <laughs> हमारी प्रॉब्लम क्या है अक्सर बटते फिरकों में हम ये रिलीजन वो सेट ये हमारी प्रॉब्लम है भाईचारा भी था कुछ कम आप पहुंचे जिस मोड पे अब हम सर्वधर्म संभाव की सरगम असलियत दुनिया को बता दी 
कहां से आते आतंकवादी बता दिया सबको गैरत हिंदुस्तान की जगह दी अब ना चलेगी ये उस्तादी खुल्लम खुल्ला साजिश की हो दहशत गर्दों को शह दी हो बार बार अनदेखी की हो पाकिस्तान की ना समझी को मुल्क में जो दहशत फैलाते मजहब की दीवार उठाते हर मकसद में हर मकसद में मुंह की खाते खुद उनको दुकान बढ़ाते दुकान बढ़ाना भी दुकान बंद करना होता बढ़ाना नहीं ये उर्दू है नेक्स्ट देश की जो हालत थी पहले अब जाकर कुछ दिन है बदले ताकतवर है ये भारत अब नहले दुश्मन तो हम दहले विजय मल्ल्या नीरव मोदी ये तो आप जानते हो यार सब लोग कौन है बैंकों से कर्जे की चोरी हुई हो गई अब ना होगी नहीं चलेगी रिश्वत खोरी सूरज एक नया निकलेगा धीरे धीरे सब बदलेगा निर्मल जल नदियों में बहेगा इको फ्रेंडली देश बनेगा कॉमनवेल्थ में पदक तालिका रोस्टर ऑफ अवार्ड्स खेल जगत में भारत चमका आओ जेवलिन वाला गोल्ड मेडल लेके आ गए ना लास्ट टाइम ओलंपिक को चल पड़ा तिरंगा ये सब कैसे हुआ हो सका छट गई रातें जो थी काली नई सदी है किस्मत वाली लगता है दिन दूर नहीं जब बनेगा भारत शक्तिशाली यूरोप चाइना या अमेरिका सांसें रोक सभी ने देखा आ पहुंचा है भारत भैया फिर अपनी सोने की चिड़िया यू नो जब आप फ्लाइट में आते हो तो बॉम्बे में पुणे में कहीं भी उतरते हो वो अनाउंस करते हैं वो फ्लाइट आ पहुंची है तो हम भी आ पहुंचे हैं आप नेक्स्ट ये लास्ट है ये मेरे जैसे ओल्ड लोगों के लिए हम बहुत ड्रीम करते रहे हैं पिछले 40-50 सालों में धीरे धीरे सब कुछ बदला है इज नॉट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पार्टी पोलिटिकल ऑफ दैट भी दबी उमंगे इठलाती हैं सोच के आंखें भर आती हैं भारत की भी विश्व सुनेगा बस कुछ लम्हे ही बाकी हैं थैंक यू दिस वॉज द लास्ट वर्ड थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक I can assure you that the entire audience will definitely benefit from your expertise and the depth of your knowledge. We will definitely make endeavors to draw thrills and upskill ourselves with science. After this enlightening talk, I request Dr. V. S. Mohita sir to introduce the president, Professor Dr. S. H. Pawar sir. Now I request Professor Dr. S. H. Pawar sir. to proceed for presentation friends how lucky you are we have here a great scientist dr j v akmi and we are celebrating azadi ka amrit mahotsav friends when we are celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav it means that you have completed 75 years of the independence and friends when you are celebrating the azadi ka mahotsav among the audience how many people they are there who have seen the day of independence that is who have, among the audience there are only two people who are celebrating the we have Okay, witnessed the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Do you know who are these two people who are celebrating the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav? You have, you have heard the bio data of Dr. Yakmi, and who is the person? Who are the person when they are celebrating the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav? It means that right from the 15 August 1946 till today. That, is, that we have witnessed the development of the science and technology when we are celebrating the science and technology technology and celebrating this azadi ka amrit mahotsav 
i'm glad that here in the audience there are only two persons who have seen the azadi i mean whole right, right from 15th august 1947 to till today and that is dr yakmi and another person is i myself <laughs> the birthday birth date year of the dr yakmi 1946 and i am also the 1946 all the rest they have born after 19 after 1946 friends when you're celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav you have heard dr yakmi and he has given you a poem not only that but friends how lucky you are that on this particular occasion after completion of this two years of the lockdown now you are in the offline mode i'm glad that principal sir has agreed you know when they this a transition from the offline online transition to offline transition most of the students now they have forgotten how to study how to okay listen how to interact with the people and i'm glad that professor principal sir has selected i agreed to invite dr yakmi he has already explained this friends dr yakmi yakmi talked about the skill of the science and thrill of the science he have elaborated with the slides how what is the skill and what is the what are the thrills that there friends specifically when i told that when shri azadi gamit what are the development that took in place right from the azad from i mean independence to till now i remember the year 1974 when i completed my phd in 1974 and then after that i was selected to visit uk as a young scientist exchange of young scientists between uk and india and friends when i in 1975 when i reached the uk university of cambridge and then i wrote a letter to my wife at that time i just got married and my wife was very curious oh whether my husband has reached there or not i wrote a letter oh i have reached uk safely that letter came after 10 days and then she wrote me later oh i am doing this 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 thing from pune and then that took another 10 days and during the span of 3 months we could write contact each other only through the letter maybe four or five times but now you see how the science and technology made the revolution the skill has developed due to the development in material science specifically the nano science nano technology and then semiconductor heterojunctions which have made the big re- revolution now everybody is now talking with the i mean the device which is the outcome of that success of the science and technology now the people who skills they are in america or maybe uk just right in morning and evening mala to jawlas ka but just like on the phone for which in 1974 we could not do that friends related to thrills in 1984 saint dr yakmi comes from brc the task of the brc was specifically to develop the atomic energy and in 1984 when indira gandhi was the prime minister they tried to ex- start atomic explosion first time 1984 and then friends successfully the scientists from brc they tried succeeded in atomic energy explosion but what happened what was the outcome outcome was that america stopped supplying of the uranium to 35 since 1984 there was no supply of the uranium and the india could not start doctor i mean program of the production of the atomic power station there was a ban on the things but then again so india was trying on its own and in 1998 the atomic energy scientist i'm glad that dr yakmi was one of the participant in the pokhran explosion in 1998 at 1998 because whenever the 
India tries to was uh, trying to make the atomic explosion. At that time, there is a spy, spy American spy. They detect and then immediately they warn, threat the India, don't do this thing. 1998, prior to two, three years before, Dr. Anirkar Kakodar, Kakodkar and his team, and then Dr. J. V. Akni, they started that. Like, okay, let us do the experiment underground, and they made a book. Atomic energy explosion, 1998. Buddha smiled. At that time, Bajpayee was the prime minister, prime minister, and the key person involved, a person involved behind Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. Friends, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, Dr. Anil Kakorkar, and team. And I'm glad that too. And that's why I said how lucky you are. The person who has contributed in. That particular activity is here with us, and you could get an opportunity to see this thing. Then another experiment of the specifically in 1986, when there was an invention of high tissue superconductor, and when high tissue superconductor at that time, Professor C. N. R. Rao was the advisor to the Prime Minister at that time. Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister. Most of the cases. The India is 10 years behind in scientific affairs. And then in 1986, when the Bendos and Mueller, they invented high tissue superconductor, and within a span of the year, they got the Nobel Prize. This is the first case in history of the science getting the Nobel Prize earlier. Professor Yakmi explained that Dr. Chandrasekhar, he was a good teacher, and he has only two students his student got the Nobel Prize earlier than the, and he took another 15 to 20 years to get the Nobel Prize. But, but in case of the high tissue superconductor, a student and teacher generally is not necessary that only with your white hair you can get the Nobel Prize. Even a young student, because a student working for the PhD with Dr. this thing, he, they got the Nobel Prize, and then at that time, Professor C. N. Rao, who was the director at that time, the Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, he was the advisor to Rajiv Gandhi. Immediately he made the phone. He was so strong, stoked. He just without, even on the phone, he used to dare talk to the Prime Minister. And he said, Mr. Prime Minister, up till now, India has lost, I mean, missed the bus. But this time, we don't want to miss the bus. Let us start the high tissue supernatural research in our country at the earliest. But to get the high tissue supernatural, we require the low temperature. We require the nitrogen temperature. We require the helium temperature. In 1986, since superconductor has the many, many applications, it will make the revolution. And for that purpose, India took the very strong, bold step with the advice of the Dr. C. N. R. Rao. And overnight, he sanctioned more than 1,000 crores of rupees to start the work in high tissue superconductor. Unfortunately, in 1987, when this decision was taken, at that time, there were no many laboratories involved in the country. Because for high tissue superconductor, we require the low temperature. And hardly some of the IITs and only BRC and IIC Bangalore, only just 10, 15 institutions, they were having the low temperature facility. Then government decided that in such a very good high field, let us give the generate new laboratories. And they invited the applications from the all over the I mean, country to apply for the super, super grant for super country. Fortunately, on that committee, Dr. Nalikar was one of the members who was the director of scientists at the NPL. And fortunately, I was the student, first student of Dr. Nalikar, completed his my PhD. As soon as he came to know that government is sanctioned this much amount, and they, they are going to distribute the supercontinuity grant, then he made me phone call. Dr. Power at that time, I was not the professor, I was just, he just called me, you apply for the grant. Then I said, sir, though I was his PhD student, but my topic is not superconductivity. Then he said, you come to the, Daily. So it means that how a teacher should help to the student. This is a good example. He called me to the Delhi. I went to the Delhi, and then he over the. I was just sat for three, four days, days and night in NPL Delhi. He he just, of course, as a physicist, I was knowing the theory of the superconductivity, but experimental to 
could extend the lab of high tissue superconductivity. It was a big task. Actually, he narrated, discussed, you write, these are the objectives, this, this thing. And then we submitted the proposal, coming back to the, we submitted the proposal by Shivaji University and got more than 60 lakhs rupees to our different amount of fees. At that time, there were only five, along with the IITs, only five universities in the country. One of them was Pune University, other was Shivaji University, and then BHU and this. Only just few universities, they got the work grant, starting the work on high tissue superconductivity. Yakmi told me about his experience that how the foreigners, they need the expertise from. In, in some cases, our Indian people, Indian scientists, they are far leading. Based on this grant, they have made the condition, they sanctioned four students for the working for that particular grant, and they made the condition that let there be two students from chemistry and two students from physics. The grant was sanctioned to the physics department. The question was how to get the students working, four students working together, physics and chemistry. And that was the first case in the history of the Shivaji University. The chemistry students, they worked in the physics department and they got the PhD from the physics department for the chemistry, chemistry student. And then, okay, we did some work. Based on that electrochemical synthesis and this thing, we made a miracle. And based on that, I was invited to Cambridge University to give the lectures, to invite a talk to Cambridge University, which is, and then when they were invited to give the talk, at that time, generally, they made the announcement. And in Cambridge University, PG department produced more than 32 Nobel laureates. And in that department, giving the lecture is a great, I mean, opportunity. I gave the lecture. And after that, generally, I get, got the letter from the one publisher, scientific publisher from Singapore, the Professor Pawar, we have heard that you have given, given a very interesting lecture on high tissue superconductor. We have invented, just like Acme told me that they invented. So like that, we invented a first method, that electrochemical synthesis, the concept, proposed the concept of complex, and based on that, okay, this. So this is some of the examples, what is three in science, skill in the science that makes you this. Friends, for that purpose, it's very essential to get the knowledge. Though the sir has created the facility of the autonomous college, under, under, under the autonomy, you can go, you can design, and you can start any new kind of things. And for that purpose, only thing that the student must know, must know that 21st century is the century of the knowledge. And for that purpose, we must think that Shikare, just like the Abhang of the Tukaram Maharaj, Shikare, Shikare, friends, when the college now is the offline college, you must take and remember that Abhang, Shikare, Shikare, Phukajan Mazatu. You don't be under the impression that our college is autonomous college. Our teachers are teaching and whatever teaching they are putting the examinations that I will get through. So that will not help you. Only thing that the knowledge is very important and to get the knowledge, to get the all over the world opportunity is very, and that's why we must follow. Shikare, Shikare, Phukajan Mazatu. Nakore, Nakore, Tukaghatavatu. Friends, we are attending such kind of lectures, you must make a note of that, okay, what, you must add to the knowledge. Shikare, shikare, phukajan mazatu, nakore, nakore, tukagha tahutu, tute tukata bhikate hi mlena, tute tukata bhikate hi mlena, gune vina loka sakahi kalena. Friends, for the student of TC college, don't see that whatever opportunities that are given for learning newer and newer things, you must try to think. And so, if you want to do something, certainly there must be a work culture, and that work culture of working, work culture of the study, work culture of the research. I'm glad that the institution, TC College, is going big way in the research. And that's why they must get the opportunity. And when they get the opportunity, sky will be limited to their career. So friends, I think we must thank to the principal, sir, for organizing, giving the permission, and at the same time, I must thank the management committee, specifically our president, Jawar Bhai Shah, and then Mirin Vagolikar, sir, for giving me this opportunity to preside over the function. Actually, to preside over the function is their right, but they have given me the opportunity and sir suggested, and so I must thank the management committee for giving this opportunity, and then, sir, we must appreciate even at the age of 76, you are trying for the science. Because it is his philosophy, Nana Arjana, Nana Dana, Nana Chi Nirmit, 
these are the three parameters he has following this thing and i'm sir i must grateful i appreciate even at this age madam yakmi has come and she is the source of inspiration looking after very much and allowing him to work like anything for the young generation for the nation azadi ka i mean when she liberty this thing. thank you very much for coming this nice thank you sir now i would request dr yogi i request all the dignitaries to take seat on the dais this auspicious event is approaching towards its end we are glad you all joined us today यकमी सर मैडम आ सर तीन कन्या जी है तिने एक सुंदर डायबिटीज पर पुस्तक लिखेल है तो आप लयब्ररी सा प्रेजेंट करता है तेजले का ही थीम्स मैं थोड़क संगत टाइप वन डायबिटीज इज ए कंडीशन विच यूजली स्ट्राइक्स ऐट ए व्री अर्ली एज वेन इट हैपन्स इट कॉजेस ए लॉट ऑफ हैविक इन द लाइफ ऑफ द चाइल्ड एंड पेरेंट्स इनिशियली अ फीलिंग फींग डिवेस्टेड बिकॉज देम which can be very draining uh, she, <coughs> she was detected with the type 1 diabetes at age of 17 when she had just stopped in of the college life at nit kurukshetra this book is about her journey and expertise during her initial post detection phase of life uh, now i will request to our honorable principal and सॉरी ऑनरेबल गेस्ट जेवी याकमी टू प्रेजेंट दिस बुक इन अवर लाइब्ररी ही विल बी हैंड ओवर टू दिस प्रिंसिपल साहब Now I would request Dr. Yogesh Indulkar sir to propose the vote of thanks. Namaskar. फक्त एक छोटी सी वेगड़ी रुद्रेला बिड़नारी ओलखा है, आंटी ओलख सांगने से टिपक तो मैं एक मिनट उभा है। यक्मी सरानी जबरदस्त जगह तले सर्वोच्च देश पहले ले आए, अनेक देशों ना वारम वार भेटी दिले ले आए, अने अनेक देशों में थे तैंचा सरकार इन चाबरों पर इतना कहीं से इस्तेमाल करते नहीं समुच्चयों में से काम पन केल ला है या दांपत्य अच्छा या प्रवास में दे एक छोटा सा व्यग्रा संदर्भ ऐसा है कि तैंची कन्या गीतिका सिंह हिला तिचा व्यायाचा साहव्या वर्षी डायबिटीज हला डेट इस टाइप वन डायबिटीज कि जो पूरा आयुष्� हा जोड़ी कुछ ही पद्धति न खचता तो मुल उभारी दी मुली शिक्षण पूर्ण के लिए तिन कुरुक्षेत्र विद्यापीठ डेंटिस्ट की डॉक्टरल डिग्री पूर्ण के लिए ती अतिशय एक उत्कृष्ट डॉक्टर होना सद्या सद्या काम करती है तिन हा जो प्रवास है खरतर एक संशोधन संशोधक आना बापा तिचा प्रेम करना आई का अंतिसा या रोगाबुरबर झंडनरिया के वहाँ झगड़ लेला कड़ाचा हाँ हाँ जो प्रवास है हाँ पुस्ता हाँ प्रवास ही तो शब्दों जो बद्दे केलेला है और हाँ प्रवास आज यक्मी दंपत्य ना अपने महाविद्यालय चल लाइब्रेरी में दे भेज दिला तब बदल महाविद्यालय जब इतने मी तंचातिश मनोपुरोग आवर व्यक्त करते
So friends, this function uh, started with the few words or the view from the biologist, that is our principal. Then you heard the views from the two physicists. Then at the end, I am here, the physical chemist, to propose the vote of thanks. Hello everyone, associated with this campaign on awareness in research and technology development with excellence, organized by Department of Physics, Science Forum, and Center for Innovative and Applied Research, that is CIAR. All these are associated with Tulsaram Chaturchan College of Arts, Science, and Commerce, Baramati. For this, we got the support from Rashtriya Uchatar Siksha Abhiyan, that is RUSA, New Delhi. So we know this campaign is just for an occasion of the National Science Day. So Honorable President, Dr. Pawar, Honorable Principal and Convener of this uh, function, uh, Dr. C.V. Murumkar, then our chief guest and today's speaker, uh, Dr. J.V. Yakmi, then Yakmi ma'am, then the head physics department, uh, Pingres sir, and all the dignitaries present here. It's my privilege to have asked to propose the vote of thanks for this occasion. So first of all, I would like to take opportunity to thank our Anekant Education Society and the members associated with this society for providing academic freedom to the students and faculty for the development of the humanity. I am very much thankful to our principal, Dr. C. V. Murumkar sir, for his inspiring mentorship, motivation, and enthusiastic support and all help to organize this event. I sincerely thanks today's speaker, Dr. J. V. Yakmi, for kindly accepting our invitation to deliver his view. So I'm just saying one uh, a word, like uh, when I was in BRC, uh, during that time, actual uh, uh, Dr. Yakmi sir were retired. That time, the chemistry, uh, chemistry associate director was the Tulsi Mukherjee sir. And I asked him, so what is the contribution of BRC in the nation building? Then that time, he uh, just gave me answer, like, see Yogesh, uh, many people thought that there is very least contribution of this type of institution, but you know the Pokhran activities where almost a lot of our colleagues were involved on that uh, activity. So that times I realized that what is the contribution of BRC on that place. Okay. Again, we know in our Marathi we have the one uh, phrases like "Kutlehi yashashvi purusha cha mage sa mota dasto like that. So Yakmi ma'am is there because of him. Uh, you can say uh, Dr. Yakmi is uh, successful now. Then. A special thanks to uh, Dr. S. H. Pawar, the uh, president of this function, and he actually uh, uh, contacted to the Yakmi sir, and because of that, he is here, and he traveled from Mumbai. Okay. Then I thanks to uh, Pingre sir, the head department of physics. Then the coordinator of this function is uh, Moite sir. Then I am also thankful to the administration for the logistic support, then all vice principal for support and help. 
as well as I thanks to all the participant, okay, the student participant who took actively participation here in this program, then all the supporting committee, that is the organizing committee of this event, as well as my uh, science forum committee. Because of them, I organize the remaining things what that requires here. Last but not least, Whatever the person or whoever is involved here for this function, I thanks to them also. So with this warm word, I end my vote of thanks. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. The program stands concluded now. There's an announcement.